Bones Highland is their leading scorer. Here's Ace Baldwin, their freshman point guard out of Baltimore. Nice speed for Stockard. That is a pick and roll to perfection in terms of pick and roll defense because this is a clinic right here. Baldwin head up. Stockard. Wheeler's perimeter defense. Always the top of the steals department. He does a, such a great job on dribble penetration middle. Stockard back into the ball game, and they're going to count that. Here come the Rams. It's a good job by Banks containing dribble penetration on Sesame. Hesitation move and a tough finish by the freshman Ace Baldwin. He'll have a chance at a three point play. This is a youngster who they are very high on, as we talked about, likes to distribute, but that time, change of speed and change of direction. Not forcing the issue like VCU has at times in transition. They're picking their spots, though, efficiently. Baldwin, nice feed inside for Stocker. Those two have it going. That were on the floor, and they have O'Boyle checking in, Lily in as well. He gets the feed inside, he elevates, and he slams it down. Demetrius Lily worked on his body all summer. But certainly his personality fits with what you'd expect from a very blue-collar area here in Central PA. Great drive by Baldwin. That was nice. We've had a couple of two-point baskets here to start the second half. The score is 40 to 40. It's wrong on the scoreboard, which is why it's wrong on your screen. But the correct score is 40 to 40. And there is a dunk from Wahab. Here's Ace Baldwin driving into the lane, being patient, stopping, pivoting, finding Wahab for an easy dunk. Well, while he was at VCU with Mike Rhodes, a couple of NCAA tournament berths in NIT, averaging in double figures in his career. Now he has the steal to O'Boyle, and the run out for Kern off the glass, yes. Keeps the possession alive. Here's a look at Penn State on the run out. We talk about defense leading to offense all the time. Penn State's doing a good job. Sannon had it bounce off the front of the rim. Penn State back on the attack. Baldwin sets up the hard pick and roll with the basket for Curtis Wahab. The middle on the pick and roll. Wahab rolling to the basket. The feed from Baldwin and a hot start for the Nittany Lions. Clary falls short. Pop Johnson fights for the rebound. Baldwin the take inside. Feeds Clary with the left hand. 0 for 5 from behind the arc. There's a steal for Baldwin on the inbound pass to the basket. Baldwin lays it down. Yeah, those, the, there's definitely a monopoly for the Airbnbs on <laughs> Penn State football weekends. I will, I, will, I will let you know that firsthand. Baldwin gets Gregory to fall down, and Baldwin nails the jumper. A timeout on the floor as Ace Baldwin with the killer crossover. And we're not too far from Philly. AI style, Baldwin with the jumper. He's not going to miss many of those. Rob Riley, Andy O'Brien, Anthony Burris. The full complement of officials on the floor tonight. There's Baldwin, tough take, and Matt. Well, Ace Baldwin, when he can get back to his left hand, he is tough to stop. I mean, Trent Scott was in great position. The willingness was there. And what you're seeing now, the bench that Moorhead State is, in, is involved in this game. Nice cut. Pop Johnson flashing to the cup and Baldwin finds him. Miles gives it up. And an easy walking lay in for Baldwin. Watch Ace Baldwin here. This is why he leads the Big Ten in steals. He's got great anticipation skills. They know that I mean the likelihood of winning all three is very slim. It only happens for one team here, but you want to be able to walk away with two wins. Oh, tough minute. reverse by Baldwin. Ace Baldwin keeps on trucking. Yes! With hung on the iron and dropped in for him. Two-point game. Hicks to the paint. Baldwin pulls up, pops, and gets hit as well. He'll be at the line. Out there with him, but one thing is for certain, Ace Baldwin is going to give you everything that he has that time. Yeah, and he takes some that may be questionable, but he makes big shots, and he absolutely has low-go range, so you have to account for him wherever he is on the floor. Baldwin looking for the answer, banks it and draws the foul. Does not matter, is able to step back and knock it down, and then on the other end of the floor, Ace Baldwin. The longer the game goes, the more the Nittany Lions miss Kanye Clary. Sweet shot there, Wahab getting up high for two. They'll nice tip from Baldwin, former 8-10 defensive player of the year. Takes it all the way and skips it up with the left hand. Baldwin Jr. coming off of the steal. Long arms, getting out, creating contact, going through, finishing through. 
Both bigs not afraid to go at each other and attack. Force, force each other to defend. Get each other in foul trouble. That's how that's how these games need to be played, and that's how the teams are going to win. Nice pass from Baldwin to Wahab. If they can get more of that in terms of misses from fours, that'll be great. Baldwin, meanwhile, showcasing his speed. Flying down the floor and use the high glass. Here's Baldwin. Second chance for Penn State. Count the bucket and a foul. Ace Baldwin on the board. And that's not been the problem, according to Mike Rhodes. He can score the basketball. He's a great defender on the crab dribble and then gets through the double team. Oh, man. What a drive and finish. Ace Baldwin with an ace feed. But that's not an easy thing to do, is it? No, because things are moving at breakneck speed for him. They're not slowed down yet. Oh, my goodness, the lob from Baldwin to Kern. Mightily as they struggle from long range. This might get them going. And the answer comes from Ace Baldwin. Knocking down the three, no hesitation. Ace Baldwin jab step, steps behind the... Had a breakout performance tonight. Here's Baldwin feeding Dunn. It's a three. And it's good. DeMarco Dunn pulls the Nittany Lions to two. Yeah, just another wise decision by Ace. I mean, we wanted him to shoot more, to be more aggressive, but he. Clary hands it off to Baldwin. Baldwin puts up the three. Has the lead with 30 seconds to go. Little drag screen action handoff. This is good defense. That man can score in bunches. Got it knocked away. Tech turns it over about 12 times a game. Baldwin back the other way. The former Atlantic 10 player of the year. From the first half to the second half. And the simple answer for Mike was, hey, we just hit some shots. Yep. Hit shots and, and moved the ball extremely well. Turn into offense here for Penn State. This, this is where Penn State's at their best. Getting deflections turned into easy offense. Ace Baldwin. So Kern back in the bowl game. Last couple of years at BCU, he's been averaging six points a game. Baldwin got all the way to the rack and somehow hung long enough to put it in. Larry got some space. Tapped out. One for Baldwin. The three is good as it goes. Great job by DeMarco Dunn on the tap out. Reeves having a hard time finding somebody. Kelly lost it to Baldwin. Puff Jackson, Penn State back in front. And they get the ball in the hands of George. He caught it. Baldwin got the steal and he gets the timeout. On the perimeter though, Kern. Yep, he saved it. Five on the shot clock, got to go. Baldwin, yep, around the screen, had to shoot it, picked it up. I, I think they might have just called a technical foul. They, they may have, as we take a look at Baldwin and that last three. They call Sometimes it. even a layup will get you going. Yeah, to see it go through, whether it's free throws, or that could have been an offensive foul. He's Baldwin, really aggressive with that short three fouls. Leaves it, though, for Wahab off the glass, lays it in. Around the perimeter, they go. Oh, nice cut, nice look. Kern off the glass and in from Baldwin. Now it's Clary Baldwin. Meet Lily and only gets the pass, lays it up and in. Great feed from Ace Baldwin. Delivers it to Ace Baldwin, cross the timeline, behind the back pass to Hicks for three, and a swish. That was sweet. But thank you, Jeff. 3.40 to go, first half, deflects it away again. Kanye Clary comes up with it. Behind the back dribble, up and under, good! Under a minute to play here in the first half. Ace Baldwin gets the ball, drives in right side of the lane, leaves it off for Q, uh -huh, for a two and jam! Ryder going right to left across the timeline, DJ Dudley now with it. Dudley nearly had it deflected away by Ace Baldwin, now does have it deflected away, and Ace is on the run. Ace going all the way to the hoop, lays it up and in! You know, when that's not working though, how do you generate points? Out to Hicks, a three with Cheddar in his face. Hicks hits his second of the game. Well, Dave, the game at Palestra right now has seen Penn State only make two three-pointers on 13 attempts. We'll have this Penn State team on Wednesday. Ace Baldwin trying to slip by Reed, and he does. We see Ace Baldwin 
Jackson. Gets Reed on some skates there. Takes advantage of the big fella. Nick Kern has it roll off his hands. He keeps it in bounds. So does DeMarco Dunn. Penn State tiptoeing along the sidelines to set up base. Baldwin for the basket and the foul. By Kern and Dunn. And then Baldwin likes the matchup against Kayot. Takes him right to the bucket. Three pointers from the Nittany Lions in the first half came from Zach Hicks. Wahab got open. The B, the Baldwin pass. Helps Wahab get two points. A couple of big physical players. Oh, whoa, Baldwin Zach. gets through Reed and gets the floater. I don't know how Langbord got switched on to Wahab, but they made him pay. Took it right out of Barry's hands. He's on the deck. He's got an open look for two. Ty Barry leaving his feet to make a pass. Then he's getting run and jump, and his teammates leave him out to dry. As resulting, like I said, I was talking to him earlier in the game. They want to get more plays from Martinelli because he's so efficient. Herky jerky in his approach. Nice Bowie <laughs> Bowie might get up 25 shots tonight. Kern. Oh! Somehow he found the basketball and didn't travel. Well, you've heard me say it, Jason. Great backdoor cut and dexterity. He's one of the better point guards in this league, one of the more improved guys, and that's just a Hail Mary, and there he is right on cue. And now Kern hits the layup and draws the foul. This is like a 50-50 ball for a receiver and a DB, and he goes up over the top of the bigger Cam Heidi and just makes a play. There's Puff Johnson. Now Baldwin. Nice pass for O'Boyle cutting. Shot clock under 10. Baldwin in the corner. That is Jameel Brown who hits the three. That's a skill. And the true freshman on their roster. Beautiful backdoor cut. And Clary finished. Warrior trying to add to that total. Well defended there. Four seconds here for Penn State. Baldwin on the run. Will he get one off? He will. And he hits it. Second straight game. He scored 14. And now Morton oh, has his pocket picked by Baldwin. But Matt Pinker talked to us about how. I personally think this game is going to stay and be a very high scoring game because both of these teams can put the ball in the basket. Late clock, Ace Baldwin gets the first one down for the Nittany Lions. Penn State can't afford to take, you know, the highly contested, very, very tough shots. And there's Wisconsin again with another turnover, trying to do a little too much in the paint. Oh, Clary. That looked like an impossible angle. The shot making has been excellent both ways in this half. And that is an easy look. Demetrius Lilly for two. And trying to come back from what was once a 12 point hole. Tied at 72. No look. Pass Wahab from Baldwin. Great play there from Ace Baldwin. Baldwin making the plays. You see Chucky Hepburn pressuring up. Crowd's late. It's off the shoe of. Battle, according to the officials, they go underneath Kern. Oh, what a play. Outstanding athleticism. Oh, my God. And stayed. And watch the hands here. Great backdoor cut and a good feed. And boy, look at that. But Penn State, they've struggled to score. Both teams have struggled to shoot, but they rely way too much on layups. Baseball. Shot for the first point for the Nittany Lions. And that's a good sign, as we said. Two or three different looks, depending on time and score from the press. <laughs> Man, well feed from Baldwin, give himself the goggles afterwards. Been a bit of a theme to the recent run for Penn State. One of their guards getting... This is when things got screwed up in the previous games. He's making sure he's reinforcing to his team what the situation is. Deuce. Akutis Wahab scores that... Tight Davis hit the floor. The crowd wanted a foul. Instead, it's an 11th turnover. Oh, what a pass! Pass to Dunn! Woo! State tonight playing without an injured Kanye Clary did not make the trip and Don hits the three and the beautiful pass by Baldwin deep in the shot clock another tough three and Gavin Griffiths oh. had his hand up but Ace Baldwin took it right out of his pocket Baldwin thought about it kicks it back out Hicks will take and just died on the back of the rim and went in 
They did not go early. But Baldwin again, a nice bounce. Touch pass to Lilly. We have seen that twice. But I, I would definitely engage. Yeah, yeah. I would engage. There is Baldwin. Dumps it off to Wahab, and the baby floater goes. Away from the double team off glass. Not sure he called it. Oh, what a feed. Ace Baldwin Jr. inside to DeMarco Dunn. Yeah, Dunn with a great backdoor cut. Galloway falling asleep a little bit. Good job by Malika New pushing Baldwin out. And now switching back defensively. Baldwin a three. Beats the buzzer from downtown. Ace Baldwin Jr. with 18. Hawkeyes were able to get out and run. They were dominating fast break points and the last few possessions the Nittany Lions have forced them to play in the half court. Oh, what a catch on the vine. Well, this is a half that Penn State, I think, Sean felt really good about how it was playing, but here in the last three and a half minutes, it's kind of changed a little bit. Kern's going to bring it back out, find Baldwin. On the drive, he got fouled. And he hits! Faces the contact, and the savvy play there, Jason, okay? When the reach came from Perkins, rather than not... The 13, a big moment tonight after the Iowa-Penn State women's game. Focused on that, but right here's Baldwin. three! He's unstoppable down the stretch! In this ball game, but showing his leadership, he doesn't let that carry over. Nice use of the crossover. Not Northwestern really played well defensively in the second half against Nebraska. Not a team that's been known as much for its D this year. Wahab gets open inside, and who does Wahab? We were talking about early start time, and it's kind of felt like it so far. Baldwin on the drive. Dishes it off to Wahab for the easy two. Nicely done. Good cut. Beautiful cut and finish by Kern. Yeah, Baldwin and Kern have such chemistry from their years together at VCU. He'll try another. Out there, tipped up in the air. A nice rebound by Wahab. Oh, what a feed by Baldwin. And Kern finishes it off. In the two overtime games last week, both of which they lost. Nicholson. Yeah, he was in all kinds of. You knew yeah, that was the, the that ball was pressure took to Northwestern to out, and you've got Baldwin. That's, that's a recipe for disaster. Kern gets the roll. That time, Cohen Carr beat everyone down the floor. X reload. Is it good this time? It is. Four, four from three. Aikens came in today, 21 points away from 700 for his career. Oh, how about that? Baldwin calls glass. I think this Penn State team's got to play faster, yeah. especially with those two guards on the floor, to try to see if they can get some quick ones before Michigan State's half court defense can get set. How about that for a quick one and a chance to tack on one more for Ace Baldwin? Off the bounce and get in the lane. First it was Clary, now it's Ace Baldwin able to get in the lane, draw contact, and finish with his offhand. Baber Iran. How about that? He's the one stepping up with Demetrius Lilly. Yes. And take away the roller. He doesn't. Favor Ira does and rolls right down the lane for an easy dunk. But you don't just get to go there. And the guys knew that going into Illinois. Tonight they've carried that mindset over here in State College. A nice bounce pass and a dunk by Kern. And the lint still on. Williams on the miss. Really good defensive start for Penn State. Absolutely. Holding Nebraska scoreless for almost three minutes, and Hicks slices in for two. Right at the buzzer. And he's got the ball back in his hands. Oh, nice defense done, and rakes it out of there. And it can't do that. You can't get too fancy handling the ball around Penn State. Hicks with a catch and fire for three. What's Penn State's recipe? It's this. Disruptive defense, creating run out, scoring opportunities in the open floor. Now Kern getting busy on the cross, but ran into masks. Baldwin with single digits on the clock, finally scores. His first points. Let's see if this is the catalyst now. A great drive. He got shut off, but was able to spin off. It's DeMarco Dunn. He was playing well as a starter. They need him to get going again. Out to Baldwin, who's cooled off a little bit. Nice pass. Wahab puts it off the glass, and we're tied. 
Well, Brad Underwood is having some uh, spirited discussions with his ah! It was great inbounds to Curry. Well, they did grant it, and again, different acoustics. What an inbounds play! They have scored three buckets. Big Ten Player of the Week. Average 29 in the wins over Michigan and Maryland. What a fight again! Ray Quandis Mitchell for two more. Illinois had four early turnovers, just won the final 10 minutes of the first half. Went to the bucket, tapped out, Baldwin on the gas. Last time, and finish! No action between the fellow bigs. We're the recipient there. Well, Check back in, and Baldwin found him. Nice job by Freeman there. Well done by Freeman, forcing Baldwin out wide. Boy, pretty good shot by Wahab inside to figure out where he was as he got that pass from Baldwin. And they extend the defense and it pays dividends here so far. Maji Dembele on the floor for the first time tonight for the Hawkeyes. Wahab inside through some contact. He's got eight. Good job by Kern all the way defensively. He helped on that little high ball screen and then was able to recover to the three-point shooter. Well done by Nick Kern. Baldwin back at it again. Driving on Dix, floats it up. It's a two-point game in Iowa City. They just find a way. Wahab gathers himself and hammers it home. And Perkins lost the handle on that one on the inbound, and Puff Johnson comes up with it. Here comes Baldwin, weaving into traffic. Count the bucket. And a foul by Baldwin on the scramble situation. Okay, he's going to catch it. You think he's going to shoot the three? Good job. They run him off the three-point line. But he goes through. Garcia's game at Illinois. No doubt Christie had his best game of his career also there, playing at a high, high level. 23 points. It's six threes in that loss. Speaking of threes, Pup Johnson knocks it down. Mitchell again. But after it, Baldwin tracked it down to the backcourt. We'll pull up for three up top. Oh, and it looked like a scattered possession as Baldwin back to back made threes. Baldwin's known for a lot of things. I wouldn't say shooting the three ball. And now Hawkins turns it over. There's Baldwin trailing, catching, fires again. Baldwin down low. Here's Mahab over Payne. January. Wahab is back on the floor, by the way, with four fouls. Hey. Backdoor, Puff Johnson, nice slash and score, and Penn State answers back. Baldwin up top, got it, and Penn State still has life. Right out of transition, O'Boyle came up with the little screen in the middle, jumped up, good contest by Parker Fox. Baldwin Jr. now probing, dumps it down low. Beautiful find, DeMarco Dunn with his first two. Here's Baldwin, the find, Dunn all alone in the corner for three. How did he see Dunn and better at it to get it to him? Baldwin probing, finds his big man underneath and he used the rim for a little protection. He's so good at gathering himself. Jameel Brown. Little reset, finds O'Boyle, cutting to the rim down the right side of the lane for two. They run that drag action up top, and that really hurts if you're Maryland. That's elite defense, but Penn State has flipped the script on the offensive rebounds. Baldwin taking Bachelor off the dribble. Count the bucket, it's going the other way to Maryland. Anderson is saying, let's go, move it down the floor. Well, just look at this burst of speed and power, he lifts it up there. It's not good enough for Penn State, but well done by McDaniel getting downhill. Baldwin rattles home the three. How good is he been? That's five games, averaging 15-4 and almost 10 assists. They're playing that ball screen. The traps are going to be there. So now three personal fouls on Terry Jr. and a nice slip to the bucket by Kern. That's just got to be talked out. That is way too easy. Here's Baldwin. The shimmy shake. Whip it inside. Johnson got it and one. Four. But what a pass right here. You lose track of Puff Johnson. He's back cutting you. Hey, what? Xavier Johnson's been good in this first half. They needed it. Here's Lily to the rim. 
for the two-hand flush. Well, the layups are still over, but the dunks continue to be a good thing. 